Don't you just love the colors? It's green and pink. How cute can it get? Hey guys, this is Derby from Couch Wasabi and today we have another dripper for review and this time it's Dodge V3 clone but looks pretty much the same as the original. Anyway, so if you are interested to know more about this dripper, please keep on watching. So we've got the Dodge V3 clone right here, and this is the packaging that came with it. I got this from Manila Vapes. Thank you Manila Vapes for sending this. And what I love about this is that um, this Dodge V3 version that was sent to me is in official Couch Wasabi colors. It's in pink and chartreuse green, so I really love it. I fell in love with this. As the moment I opened it, I really loved it. Okay, inside the package, we have some tools, spare o-rings, some screws, and pre-built coils. Now, comparing this with the original Dodge, um, I saw on the reviews that it, the package had more accessories that came with it. And there was an option to have a three-post design for the original one. So this one is just... Um, four post design. The original one had an option for you to build it on three posts. It also came uh, came with a 510 drip tip adapter. As you can see, the Dodge V3 sits beautifully on my Snow Wolf 90. What I like about this mod is that almost all atomizers I've attached look so nice on it. So um, the original would have a ceramic um, wide bore tip. This one, I believe, is just plastic. Um, the original would have something ceramic written on the box. Since this one doesn't have any ceramic written on it, I assume that the wide bore drip tip is just plastic. Um, checking at the bottom, since this is just a clone, you won't find any serial code at the bottom, but it also has the copper contact pin okay so I've attached the Dodge V3 on my Snow Wolf 90 and I'm trying to put fresh cotton what I'm using today is just a regular Japanese organic cotton building this and um, wicking wicking this Dodge V3 is a little bit easy it's pretty basic have it. Let's just cut the excess. And slip it right in the juice well. What I like about this Dodge V3 is that it has a pretty large juice well for an RDA. It actually has a 9mm deep of juice well compared to the Goon and the Kennedy which had only 5mm. I think, I believe this has a 22mm diameter. And um, since this is a clone, the screws are uh, came in only in stainless steel. The original would uh, would have copper screws. Okay. There you go. Just tuck it right in. Make sure the cotton is touching the bottom of the juice well.
the Dodge V3 has two airflow slits that is adjustable so we just twist the body to adjust the airflow holes it's pretty simple this RDA is pretty simple okay so let's try prepping them okay so let's try prepping the cotton priming the cotton and today I am using strawberry milkshake from steam juice it up nicely you can even put some juice right at the well here just to make sure that everything is nice and wet okay so let's try vaping this So I'm firing it up at 35 watts and let's see how it goes. I'll try to close up the airflow holes a little. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what I can say about this Dodge V3 is, is that it's not really for flavor chasers. It's more of clouds. The flavor is very, very subdued. Um, I, I, I don't really like the wide bore tip, so I'm glad that it, it um, came in with the 510 adapter so you can just plug in your regular size tip. I got this Dodge V3 from Manila Vapes. Thank you, Manila Vapes, for sending this for review. Um, they're selling this at 1,100 pesos. The original would cost you around 30 to 40 dollars. So this is just a fraction of its price, but it does the same thing. The only difference is that the original had more accessories, wherein you can convert it into a three-post hole. I mean, three-post deck, and this one you can't. It's just right there at four pole, pole four posts but doesn't matter it does the same thing also the original had a ceramic tip this one doesn't have it but i believe the original scratches is more easily than this one so i've used this for a couple of weeks now and it still looks good as new no scratches at all The only con is that, um, as a flavor chaser, I like drippers or tans that are more into flavor, so I'm not getting that from here. But if you are more into cloud chasing, I think this is a good drip. For only 1,100 pesos, I think this is a good buy. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!